Today we're going to be looking at some of the features of the popular voice notification app called Enhanced SMS and Caller ID. This application can do much, much more than just read out your incoming calls and text messages. It has the ability to read out your email, uh, event reminders, Google Talk messages, instant messaging, and other applications. Um, that may post status bar notifications on your device. For incoming calls, Enhanced SMS and Caller ID is fully customizable. You can say what you would like it to say. You know, you can configure it to say, um, call from so-and-so. You can have it say, so-and-so is calling, etc. Let's hear it. So that's what it would say given the way I like things configured. Um, obviously, you can change it to say whatever it is you wanted it to say. In this application, we also have the ability to um, customize the text for unknown callers or private callers. Um, private callers are callers that block their phone numbers, while unknown callers are um, callers that are not their, their numbers aren't blocked, but the phone number isn't in your contacts, and so they're unknown. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it can do all those great things. Additionally, it can um, give uh, constant voicemail reminders for any of you that have the mail waiting indicator. Um, it can also perform some call screening. So if there's anybody... If you don't want to receive calls from anyone that's not in your contacts, you could click that little checkbox there. And anyone that called you that's not in your contacts would immediately um, be muted and your phone would just stay silent. Same goes for private callers, people who block their numbers. Um, you can have the phone stay silent when a private caller calls. In addition, you can also screen by contact. So if there's a certain contact that's bothering you, perhaps the boyfriend, maybe a girlfriend, eh, who knows. You can screen them and have your phone not say anything and not even ring when they call. For text messaging, we obviously will read out by default the name and subject of a text message. Um, for those of you that don't want the message read out, you can have it read only out the name, or if you prefer, just the message. Um, it's completely up to you. We also have this cool little feature here called voice reply that allows you to compose messages after one is received um, and have it sent. It's also got a lot of features and fully customizable. You can ask the app to ask you if you want to reply first, um, or you can go straight to it and reply. You can also compose the message only and not send it, or you can just send it without the app asking you, would you like to send it? We also have voice prompts. How often are you in a car um, with other people and maybe having your messages read out uh, right away isn't something you want? So with voice prompts, it'll say whatever you want it to say, actually, because it's fully customizable. Um, you can have it say, for instance, um, message from so-and-so. And shall I read it? And if you say yes, it'll read it. If you say no or nothing, it'll not read it. And so that could be fun. Email is a little bit interesting here because we support um, a lot of popular email clients on the Android platform. Gmail is is a Google phone, so Gmail is on every device, and we support them. And for Gmail, and as well as those other clients, we have the ability to customize the text. And when we customize the text, by default, we'll read out the name and subject of a message. If you want a brief overview, like I do, you can select read overview and it'll read uh, you get to select how 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 many words you want to read out or if you're a little bit insane and want to hear the whole message um, you can check that as well and obviously this app is fully customizable I've said that a few times already and this is just to show you that you can customize the message that's announced when an incoming message is read out
a cool feature for Gmail is this feature called Voice Reply. And Voice Reply, like the SMS counterpart, um, allows you to compose full messages um, to people who have just sent you a message using nothing but your voice. Obviously, again, this could be extremely useful if you're in an automobile driving, trying to keep your hands free, or if you're walking two dogs with a baby on your chest. Who knows? Um, weird situations call for fantastic apps. The calendar reminders is pretty simple. You say you enable it, and whenever a calendar event reminder pops up on your phone, this guy will read it. Um, if you have various uh, calendars on your device and don't want them all read out, you can blacklist the calendars that you want to keep private. I mentioned we can read out uh, Hangout messages from um, Google as uh, instant messaging platform, and these are some options for that. The coolest feature is this other apps feature, um, which allows this application to read out status bar notifications from almost any app installed on your device. I personally use it um, for news and sports scores. For instance here, Breaking News is, a, is an app I use to, to read out um, headlines as they occur. And if you look here, I'll show you how it works. So here I'm only reading out the ticker text, which is the scrolling text above the top of a device when a status bar notification occurs. And this is what it sounds like. Ticker text. Japanese finance minister Teru Aso says there is no change in trend of gradual economic improvement at Reuters. So that's pretty amazing. I don't have to look at my phone when it dings. I can have these things read out to me. For the sports junkie in you, um, well, as a Canucks fan, I have this app read out Canuck information from an app called The Score, and this is what it would sound like. Ticker text. Canucks F. Daniel said it becomes franchise leader in power play goals. 115. So any status bar notification that occurs, this guy will... Text. Oops, I pressed Canucks it twice. Daniel said it becomes franchise leader in power play goals. 115. Well, at least... You can always test it out and see what, what it says. Um, anyway, so that's those are the, the general features. Um, obviously, there's other things like you can restore and back up your preferences. Uh, um, for instance, I have a car preference and then an everyday preference. And um, some of the cool little things here for, for instance, we plug in directly into locale. And so when I'm in the car, enhanced SMS and caller ID will automatically load my car preferences for me. So that's wonderful. Every day I prefer the, oh, uh, default, sorry. I prefer these everyday preferences and it will load those whenever I'm not in the car. So it's, it's quite amazing actually. Um, thank you so much. Enjoy.